Hello again. Uh, same me, same place. Uh, but now we're going to talk about the train. Uh, the train was so much fun. Um, so different to anything that I've done before. Um, so I have my own little cabin. I have no visual aids for this bit, sorry. Um, I have my own little cabin. And in the cabin at one end you have an armchair. And at the other end you have a toilet and sink. And the bed folds down from the back of the armchair over both. Um, and it was, it was all surprisingly comfy. Um, but the <laughs> I'm British and childish and the toilet thing really amused me um, because it's right next to the window so you're kind of sitting there and you just get to watch the world go by and hope you don't pull into a station um, and the other amusing thing is if you need to go to the toilet in the night because the bed covers it you can either walk down the corridor in your gym jams or <laughs> you have to kind of hoist half the bed up and then you kind of sit and brace the bed above yourself until you're done and as I say, I'm childish and it really amused me. Um, the other thing about the train in particular was it's kind of like exactly like every train that you've seen on the movies. Um, you have a cabbage down one side and then like a narrow corridor. And if you're me, you then find it impossible to walk through the train without imagining you're in a movie. Um, with me, they were generally spy movies. Um, and it, it's, it's just like never having done it before it was just like being in a film it was so cool um, met some lovely people on the train food was really good had free coffee and muffins that was really good um, and we had Brad who um, like they have people that look after sort of two carriages and they do stuff for you and help you out and ask any questions and um, he was a lot of fun um, we got to stop off we had an hour in Jasper that kind of wander around and go up at the mountains um, and then we got into Winnipeg last night, so that was sort of 48 hours I was on the train. Oh, except the clocks went back. No, that's a lie. I went forward in time. So actually I was only on the train for 47 hours, even though it was 48, because um, I've now gone, yeah, forward, because I'm crossing time zones. And I'm confused because the clocks go back this weekend, um, which is why I'm... See, I told you, confused. This is why I'm time traveling. Anyway, a little tiny bit of Winnipeg. Um, there's a light adjust. This is the view from my hotel room. Not terribly inspiring, but there's quite a pretty building over there. Um, and then basically, it's, it's really very city-ish. Um, last night, I went to a very cool western bar um, called uh, High and Lowdown. Kind of High and Lonesome. Um, and everyone I met there says it is the coolest bar in Winnipeg. But most people don't know about it, but it was like two doors up from my hotel. And I had a cracking time. Um, that's it really that sort of brings us up to date I've got laundry in the machine downstairs yay fun um, but I'm off to the convention this afternoon to like book in and get all my first stuff and I'm really looking forward to that and meeting some more new people um, and I'll keep you updated cheerio